Hello there, I'm Casey Gray. You're watching D&D Expertise. Some terms and conditions may apply. Warlocks are clerics who know how to negotiate with their boss rather than putting in volunteer hours. You wanted to toss around some magic, but you weren't ready to spend a decade in school like a nerd, and you're not 164th dragon on your mother's side. So you found a powerful entity, and you put in a job application with a firm handshake and a can-do attitude. If you're shopping around for a sketchy benefactor, there are several choices. You've got Tinkerbell, the queen of air and darkness. The ocean. A unicorn. Robin Williams. Literal Satan. Haster, the king in yellow. A talking sword from the Shadow Realm. The Lich King of Northrend. And the elderly. Just pick whichever flavor you like the aesthetic of and sign on the dotted line. Now you've got all the eldritch you can blast, and some interesting role-playing questions to answer. Why did you want power badly and urgently enough to play Let's Make a Deal with a Patron? How do you communicate with them, and why do they always call you at the worst times? What are they getting out of this arrangement? What exactly happens if you refuse a request or decide to quit? They weren't quite clear about what they meant when they said severance package, but you think you know. Your patron doesn't have to be evil, but they probably will be. So using your power to be a heroic adventurer might be a little tricky since you don't want to burn any bridges. You're going to have to figure out how to balance being a team player in the party against the occasional request to burn down a church. Best case scenario is that the party and the patron have an enemy in common, in which case it's win-win. You'll also have to decide whether to lie to the other characters about the source of your spells, or openly discuss who your backer is and that your relationship with them is purely professional. It's hard to turn down the help of a spellcaster who recharges after a quick break and a cup of coffee, though they might keep an eye on you just in case.